suddenly a person wakes up well, from, from inside. So many people ask me, who who woke you up, who talked to you, who is the rabbi? There was no one there. It was only my inner thoughts, my inner desire to find the truth and to stop lying to myself. And I, I felt I have a sensor, a sensor inside of me that feels that I'm lying to myself, that I'm going in the wrong path, that something is wrong. Friends are calling you, hey, you want to come out to drink something? You feel, no, I don't want to. And you say, when are you picking me up? So what's going on? And you need to have merit from heaven to feel that. How much lie you can stand. How many nights you can burn in your life doing things against your will. It takes time until you wake up to realize that you're drinking, even though that it's destroying you. That you're smoking, even though that it's destroying you. That you're eating, even though that it's destroying you. That you're, that you're waking up. Whatever you do, hours, days, months, years in your life, you're burning. You're breaking yourself to pieces and, and you hate it. And you don't want that. And you want to live inspiring life. Life of satisfaction, life of joy, spiritual life, to have spiritual experiences. You want to go to the fields, to the lakes, to the rivers. You want to cry to Hashem. You want to sing. You want to be happy. You want to stop lying to yourself. You want to, 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 to stop dress for others, to, 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 to cut your hair for others, to, to, to buy a, a watch in $5,000 for others. Crazy what people are doing. And they're... And they, they, they feel it, by the, but they ignore their feelings. So you need to have that merit from heaven to start realizing, hey, I'm lying to myself. So when it happens, that's the biggest evidence, biggest proof of them all to the fact that that process of tshuva is a real process. It's not another fantasy. It's not another dream. It's not another mistake. Because if it happened to you, and it's also happened to me, and also to him, and also to another 30,000 people that I can call their names right now, so for sure it's a clear movement, it's a clear reality that happens, an inner awakeness that happens from inside. And to that we call Yemei Mashiach, Days of Mashiach, that the souls will wake up from inside, and it's us. Just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.